Hello, I'm Winan Lei of IBM. Today I'm going to talk about some process diagramming tips and tricks for IBM BlueWorks Live. The intended audience for this discussion is newer BlueWorks Live authors. The idea is to share these tips and tricks so you can become more productive more quickly. Here's my agenda. BlueWorks Live makes it really easy to diagram your processes. When you add, change, or delete an element from your process, not only is that element updated, but the rest of the drawing is automatically updated to reflect the changes. This is known as auto layout. One of the first questions I get from customers is, why can't I remove certain items from the diagram? For example, you can see that this activity can be removed, but the end gateway cannot be removed. What's going on? There's a reason for this actually. BlueWorks Live makes sure your process flows properly. There are no hanging items allowed, i.e. items that are not connected to anything. An activity must have at least one arrow leading out of itself. And each path through the diagram must arrive at an end gateway. If we remove this end gateway, this activity would not have any arrows leading out of itself. And this path would not lead to an end gateway. The solution is to add a flow line before deleting the end gateway. So add that line to the activity and you'll see that there are two lines leading out of the activity. Now this will allow you to delete the end gateway. After deleting the end gateway you can see that the activity still has a line leading out of it and that its path ultimately leads to a different end gateway. Every once in a while, you find that the process diagram doesn't lay out exactly the way you want it to. In this case, you see a line that's crossing over another line. Ugly. To fix this, many people attempt to fix the line, but you find that BlueWorks Live doesn't allow you to change the line itself. There's a simple solution. We're going to move the boxes and not worry about the lines. Here I'm going to take this activity and drag this activity higher. When it's at the right spot, you'll see this gray bar that appears. That means I want to position my activity uh, relative to another activity. If I let go of the mouse now, you'll see that it appears here. Let's say I want to move my activity under a different activity. I'll drag it, we'll see the gray bar appear, and then we'll let go. Now let's take a different activity and move it to the spot I had before. And then, you know what, let's move this activity above everything else. You see the gray bar appear above the uh, activity where I want and then you let go of the mouse. You'll notice that the entire path got moved. Now we'll clean it up. This manual manipulation is known as Relax Layout. If you want to go back to the original, just right click and press Reset Layout. So let me create a exclusive gateway. And I'll add a couple blank activities here. First thing you might notice is well, why are there only two paths? What if I want another one? Pretty easy. You can right click and press insert flow and that will add another path for you. Now you could uh, easily lay this out the way I showed you earlier with the relaxed layout. All right, you can do it like that. Or there's a shortcut is you can actually press I right click again and then um, press align parallel flows and it will do this for you. Now if you want to realign things, let's say you know this is too symmetrical, I want to put everything under the main path, you could do it like that. All right, and then I can reverse it. Maybe I want to put everything above the path. So you could do it like that. And then, once again, you can always reset layout and start over. A line parallel pass is really useful if you have a lot of paths as well. It looks really nice. There are bound to be cases, especially in larger process diagrams, where the lines just get a little messy. Um, here's an example where I'm going to draw this line going to this activity and you'll see that it um, crosses over a bunch of lines. Another option you have is to highlight the line, right click, and press show as link. 
what this will do is it'll split the line up uh, so they'll have a link here and a link here oh I have to do a little more layout so let me move this here so now you see link one and link one if I right click and press go to link it'll highlight where the other end of the link is if I rename this um, it will be the same label on this side as well as that side if I want to change it back I right click press show as line and it goes back sometimes there are just way too many activities in your diagram one thing you can do is convert them to subprocesses. Within a subprocess, you can insert more activities, or you can drag them from your main diagram into the subprocess. When you collapse the subprocess, you can see that it saves a lot of space, and then you can click again to expand it. Alternatively, if your process wants to refer to another process, you can link to that other process. So you go link to process and search for it. I'll select a claims payment here. And now you'll see that my activity called pay claim links to a process called claims payment. I can click on it. I can view the details of that process. And then I can navigate back to my process. So when do you use which? A subprocess is just a subset of the original process. You don't see it listed separately, so it's not reusable. And since it's part of that same process, the ownership is the same as the original process. A link process, on the other hand, is independent. Multiple processes can link to the same process, and it can be owned by somebody else and even housed in another space in BlueWorks Live. Bottom line, use the subprocess if you just want to save space in your process diagram. Otherwise, use the link process so you can facilitate enterprise reuse of processes. Let's recap. In this demo, I showed process diagramming tips and tricks. Now you should be able to understand techniques to make your process diagrams cleaner and more organized, and to model your processes more quickly and efficiently. Thanks for viewing. Until next time, 